Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is a quick update from the Donetsk front. So uh, if you don't know where is Donetsk, uh, it's here all the way on the eastern side of uh, Ukraine where most of the fighting is happening and uh, Luhansk is totally uh, captured by the Russian forces. So uh, in Donetsk, here in the in the northwest of Donetsk city, Pisky, the Russian Ministry of Defense have announced that they have so-called liberated Pisky in the Donetsk People's Republic. Basically, the Russian forces have captured Pisky. So Pisky is uh, one of the uh, major defense uh, stronghold or strong point of the Ukrainian forces. And they have been using this to blockade uh, Donetsk or even launch uh, attacks over the past eight years during the Ukrainian Civil War. So uh, this capture is uh, very significant to the Donetsk, Donetsk people or the Donbass people in general because uh, this is a, a very uh, monumental uh, location in their, uh, in their civil war struggle against the Ukrainian uh, government. So the capture of this uh, prompted the Ministry of Defense to actually announce it because uh, we, we have uh, seen a lot of captures uh, over the past one, two months or probably two months, all these locations, Bilomitrivka, you know, Veselivka, Berestove, the Russian Ministry of Defense did not announce these captures. Uh, however, for Pisky, the MOD of Russia decided to actually make it as part of their you no know, report uh, for the 13th of August, which is the yesterday's report, which means that uh, this, uh, this small little village or town is so significant to the people of Donbass that uh, they actually made a point to actually uh, mention this capture so anyway uh fierce fighting happened over here with uh previously with the russian using uh the tos one uh, flamethrowers and uh when the moment the russians are able to use the tos one flamethrowers basically is the multiple launch rocket system which is rather short range but uh uh fires thermobaric uh payloads which will destroy uh and kill every living thing uh every animals and uh, where, which, wherever which breathe will die within this vicinity because it explodes with a 3000 degrees uh, explosion instantly everything is fried and then uh, then you will actually suck out all the oxygens and then if you don't die you will actually die from suffocation so it's a it's a very heavy weapon uh, meant to attack fortification and entrenchment and the moment usually when the TOS one is being, being deployed uh, the the defenders tends to lose the position and tend to lose the the town or the village that they are trying to defend uh this have been a very uh uh have been the the case for all this while uh uh from my coverage of the this uh, ukraine war so far uh the tos one is not used uh, very widely uh maybe because of the short range uh as which is why uh they are very vulnerable to counter artillery strikes so uh but the the amount of artillery used on pisky is tremendous and then uh, which they able to suppress the Ukrainian sub artillery enough for them to start using TOS-1 and then the videos came out of the TO TOS-1 usage uh, at Pisky and uh, soon you know one or two days only since it, uh, we now see Pisky has fallen so anyway this is a quick update from uh, the Donetsk front and I'll see you in the next update